Merchant of Venice is technically considered a comedy because it ends with um, uh, everybody married and happy. The play is very powerful. It's a powder keg. It still brings up all sorts of uh, concerns of anti-Semitism and whether or not the play should even be staged anymore. The play itself starts out where we hear that uh, Bassanio uh, wants to go and woo this woman named Portia, but he doesn't have the means or the money to do it. So he goes to his friend Antonio. Antonio is sort of overextended at the moment, so uh, he's not sure he can do it, but he says for Bassanio, he will go to Shylock, borrow money from him, even though he doesn't like Shylock because he's a Jew and he doesn't believe in uh, usury. Shylock says, fine, it's this much money, and if you don't pay me back by this date, I get one pound of flesh. All of Antonio's debts get called in. There's a shipwreck and he believes that all of his goods, which is what he's sent out and gonna be receiving money from, goes away. Suddenly he doesn't have the ability to pay back Shylock. As the second half of the play starts, we're in court where Shylock is making his case about why he gets that pound of flesh. Portia shows up dressed up as a man pretending to be a lawyer and pleads with Shylock to be merciful with the famous, the quality of mercy is not strained speech but then she gives him one last chance to show mercy, he says no. So she says, by following the letter of the law, you can have a pound of his flesh, but you cannot have a drop of blood. Of course, it's impossible to carve out a pound of flesh without blood, so suddenly he's trapped. They're able to use the law against Shylock because it seems as if he was going for a Christian's life, so he has to give up all of his money uh, to Antonio, and he has to become a Christian. Shakespeare, once again, does a brilliant job of taking a character that would have been seen as a villain in Elizabethan London and shows you the humanity of it. So by taking a character that people would write off or stereotype, he puts that character on stage and says, no, look at the humanity here, let's look deeper. The speech that is just absolutely wonderful is Hath Not a Jew Eyes, sort of Shylock's entire tirade speech about if you prick us, do we not bleed? Am I not just like you? And if I'm not, shall I not be just like you in revenge as well? If you take some of these speeches and you take them out of context, they can mean one thing all by themselves as a passage of poetry. But once they're part of the dramatic structure of the play, uh, the meaning becomes very clear. It tends to be misinterpreted, uh, if, if you prick us, do we not bleed, as if it's, as, as if it's a plea for understanding, uh, for common humanity, I'm just like you, I bleed like you, and actually that's not what the speech is about at all. The speech is about the idea, if I'm just like you and all of these other things, then I'm going to be like you in your darker aspects too, just like revenge. Mm -hmm.